Berserk falls off after Golden Age. If you have any sense of sanity, then you would understand the blasphemy behind this statement. But of course, if you are familiar with the Berserk community, or at least the toxic side of the Berserk community, then you may have heard this phrase before. And yes, trust me, I have heard this phrase before because if I didn't hear it, I wouldn't be making this video. Let's really talk about the idea of Berserk falling off after Golden Age. Because I feel like if something is going to be so commonly talked about in the toxic side of a community, then it should at least be somewhat addressed. In my opinion, the Golden Age is definitely one of the most memorable story arcs in manga. In fact, it's my favorite arc in all of manga, meaning it's my favorite arc in Berserk as well, which begs the question, how come I don't agree with Berserk falling off after Golden Age? Well, it sort of has to do with my idea of what falling off really means. Because I feel like when you say falling off, you are talking about something very extreme. You're talking about like the story goes from being one of the greatest stories of all time to pulling like a Game of Thrones season eight. That is what I would call falling off. That is not what Berserk does because first of all Berserk isn't finished and second of all have you read the Conviction, Falcon, and Fantasia arcs? Some of the most memorable moments in all of Berserk are in those arcs, not in the Golden Age. Obviously I'm going to dedicate this entire video to talking about a bunch of reasons why Berserk does not fall off after the Golden Age arc but of course I still do regard the Golden Age arc as Berserk's best arc as I'm sure many of you do as well because let's be honest the Golden Age as a standalone arc as and if it was its own story would still be one of the greatest manga of all time because the writing foreshadowing character development art everything was absolute perfection and i don't think any other arc in berserk really beats it i will argue the millennium falcon arc for me could really go up there with the Golden Age arc. But for the sake of this video, I'll say Golden Age is my top one arc. But I feel like something that is commonly brought up in stories is that once you read the best section, you don't gotta read the rest of the story. And like, if you have any common sense, do you just understand how stupid that sounds? Okay, I've already seen the best part. Let me just drop the rest of the series. I don't care how it ends. I don't care whatever happens, that's it. That was the best of the series and that's all I'm gonna read. Like, bro, what? That's kind of what the people who say Berserk falls off after Golden Golden Age are really saying. They're saying that because the Golden Age is the best arc in Berserk, it really cannot get matched by whatever comes after it. Because of that, it's not even worth reading after Golden Age. Again, to say something that falls off is to say that it becomes absolutely unbearable and that it is not good enough to read or watch. And I do not think that is the case with Berserk at all. Again, something I brought up earlier, Game of Thrones. That is what falls off. And obviously this doesn't happen after Golden Age because again, if anything, the manga sales went up after Golden Age. The popularity of Berserk went up after Golden Age. The world building went up. The characters got better. More characters got introduced. The art got better. Like how, how, like bro, where is your evidence? The main reason I feel like people think Berserk falls off after Golden Age is because the story is so drastically different from what it was. More of the focus on the story is on Guts' development. As we know, Guts is sort of like the forefront of the story at this point, whereas in the Golden Age arc, we sort of followed Guts, Griffith, and multiple other members of the Band of the Hawk, including Casca, Judo, Pippin, and the rest of the gang. Obviously now in the Millennium Falcon, Conviction, and Fantasia arcs, more so in the first two, and the main focus is on Guts and Griffith, and their journeys respectively. I think this is the main reason for the concern being Berserk falls off. I just do think this is because the story changes. I don't think it's because the story lacks in any other way. I feel like it's just so drastically different from the Golden Age. If you cannot come to accept that difference, then of course you're going to think the story is weird and not the same because it's not the same. It becomes a completely different story after the Golden Age arc. And I feel like the Black Swordsman arc should have set that up in the first place to say that the Golden Age is not the main story. The Golden Age is a backstory and a catalyst to set up and increase the emotional impact of the future arcs. So many things have to do with perspective. And I just feel like this is one of them. Once you take the perspective off Golden Age as being like the greatest part of Berserk, then you'll probably like all the other arcs much more. Yes, the Golden Age is phenomenal, but there are other things in these arcs that make them so important to Berserk's story, that expand the story of Berserk so much. It may be different, but that is the point. That is what an arc is. It is a section of a story. The Golden Age was a different section where it focused on different characters and more so on certain characters and certain events. And the Conviction arc is also different. The Conviction arc is on Guts' Conviction. The Millennium Falcon arc is primarily focused on Griffith, if I was to say and Griffith establishing his kingdom, as well as Guts continuing his journey. And of course, the Fantasia arc, currently ongoing, almost at its end, 
focuses on the two characters and as the arc comes to an end brings the two characters back together. Another thing is the separation of Griffith and Guts. I think something that everyone was used to in the Golden Age arc was Guts and Griffith being together, being on journeys together, fighting together, interacting with one another, and having them separate in the Conviction and Millennium Falcon arcs was sort of a weird paradigm shift for a lot of people that may lead to the belief that Berserk falls off, but I just feel like that's kind of how the story has to go, especially if we're going to have this protagonist-antagonist dynamic, because in the Golden Age arc, Griffith's not the antagonist. You could argue Guts isn't the protagonist, if it wasn't for the Black Swordsman arc. And besides, we do get interactions between Guts and Griffith. We get the reunion on the Hill of Swords, we get Griffith's revival, we get the interaction on Elfhelm in the recent chapters. I mean, there are many instances post-Golden Age where we get incredible interactions between the two characters, so I don't really think their separation should be a big reason for why. Casca being mindless is something that I personally do think is a decent argument for the matter, but at the same time, Casca was mindless because of things that happened in the Golden Age arc, and her being mindless leads to Guts growing so much as a character. Who doesn't love Guts' character growth, and who doesn't regard Guts as one of the greatest characters out there? because of his development in the Conviction, Falcon, and Fantasia arcs. The Golden Age arc did develop Guts well, don't get me wrong, but let's be honest, would Guts be a top one protagonist if it weren't for the arcs that came after it? We get introduced to new characters, and in my personal opinion, Barney, Serpico, Shirke, and these other characters that we travel with throughout our journey are better characters than, for example, Judo, Corcus, Pippin, and the rest of the gang in the Band of the Hawk. Why? Because we go way more deep into their characters, we get to know them better, and they actually develop without being plot devices to die in the end. No offense, Judo, I do love you. The fantasy elements are way more fleshed out in the future arcs of Berserk because obviously now that Griffith has opened up Fantasia, everything just goes crazy and they're the weirdest monsters in the story. Not only that, the magic gets fleshed out way more as well, Shirka gets introduced and the whole idea of spirits and monsters just becomes way more prominent in the story. And I think that's what makes Berserk the dark fantasy story that it really is because if it wasn't for that, if it was similar to Golden Age, it would pretty much just be more of a medieval time story. There is slower pacing after Golden Age and I think this is necessary because at times the story cannot be completely fast paced because if it is so, the big climax moments can't really be as impactful as they would be if the pacing is slower. Plus, you need to develop characters, you need to build up certain events in the story, and so on. I just don't think it's realistic to think that because of the slower pacing, Berserk is not good because there are still so many other things to enjoy about the story. Some people make the argument that things feel repetitive and boring, which to me just does not make sense because... Well, yes, the entirety of the story revolves around Guts trying to protect Casca whilst facing Griffith. It's that exact conflict that we get with Guts that's so interesting to me and the different events that he really goes through, how that impacts his character, and not to mention how it impacts the people around him, and how he begins to warm up to the people around him. There's so many different things that happen after the Golden Age arc that are so different to where I really don't get why people say it's repetitive and boring. Obviously, the world building expands way more to the point where the Kushan Empire now becomes a huge threat to Griffith. Obviously, it doesn't really become a huge threat because Griffith is Griffith. Hopefully, you get what I'm trying to say here, though, and it is that the world building just gets bigger, more people are introduced, more different characters are introduced, everything just expands. If you think of it in the way that the Golden Age is a small little circle surrounded by a ginormous circle, that sort of makes sense if you really think about Berserk because the center of Berserk could be called the Golden Age arc, whereas everything surrounding it and sort of making up the story are the three arcs that come after it. I don't think the idea of saying Berserk falls off after Golden Age makes any sense because of what falls off really means. It doesn't look like a graph where it goes completely up and just skyrockets down. More so, it goes extremely high and sort of maintains that high status for me and many other people personally. Golden Age is still my favorite arc, but again, that does not mean it falls off. Just because something is my favorite doesn't mean the arcs that come after it suck. And besides, I would still put like Millennium Falcon, maybe even Conviction and Fantasia pretty close to Golden Age because all the Berserk story arcs are phenomenal. Berserk would not be Berserk without the events that happen after Golden Age. And I feel like saying it falls off is a stupid thing. Let me know what you think because I, I hope I've convinced you otherwise if you were a Berserk Falls Off believer. That's it for this video though. Hope you did enjoy it. Peace.